Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube chat. <laughs> welcome back to my YouTube page. As when I say um hello to any new subscribers and if you're new on my page right now, don't forget to click the subscribe button right here. Click it girl, click it, and don't forget to obviously press the bell because if you do not press that bell, you won't receive any notifications of when I upload a new video. Boo. Anyway. Oh my god, it's so hot in my room. I've literally got these two new lights there, but I'm missing my ring light because I'm missing a stand. So it's one about the other. And these two these two ring lights are making my hair like pop in. So I'm like, let me just edit it. That's a bit better. Oh, 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 these lights. Anyway, I'm not gonna speak about the lights, but I got them for £33 in some mad sale. But anyway, I just wanna say thank you so much to everyone that loved my last video. Um, obviously it was a rant. I wasn't doing it to shame the hotel. I was just doing it just because I felt like I needed to like voice it because I was so angry. Everyone on Snapchat, if you don't have me on Snapchat, you can add me on here. Just press your phone, get Snapchat open and add me on my icon. Just put your ca Snapchat camera to it and it will add me automatically. Anywho, yeah, I just felt like I should just voice my opinion and um, I just felt like a madness was going on and I wasn't really happy. So I voiced it and you guys loved it. And if you guys want any more videos like that, let a girl know. Anyway, um, I'm going to do a favourites video today and obviously I hit 10k a few months ago but I haven't really acknowledged it and some of you did and I'm really sorry I didn't acknowledge it, it was just I've had so much things going on and I really wanted to do a giveaway for you guys which I'm going to do but um, I'm going to do it in this video actually but I'm not sure, I've got so much stuff to give away that I can't showcase it in the video that I'm going to give away but I'm going to do um, a giveaway anyway, but I'm gonna put that at the end of the video girl end of the video Just keep watching and you'll see what I'm gonna give away. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Anyway, obviously it's boiling in my room as usual I feel like I'm in Lucifer's playground. I'm not sure I feel like when I'm gonna do a video I get really overexcited because I do my makeup before a video and I feel like okay I'm beat and I feel like I'm just extra extra hot, but it's fine Oh, I've got some water anyway. What wait, wait, wait a minute. Let me just have a little sip Okay, let me. Why am I sweating so much? Okay, anyway, um, I'm gonna do a favorites video. It's gonna be a May favorite just because I haven't done one of these. I just put what on my carpet. Focus. So I'm gonna do a May favorite because I haven't done one of these for ages. And I just feel like, um, yeah, people wanna know what products I love and I feel like I want to show you guys what I love so let me get to the first item. I'm going to start with skincare first so I've been loving this Clinique item here. It's called the Clinique Pep Star Eye Cream. I love this product so much. Um, I've only been using it for the past two weeks. Um, I've seen, what's her name, Tati. I can't remember her name, her name's Tati but I've been following her since a few weeks ago and she recommended this and I feel like I love this. It's an amazing eye cream and I feel that it wakes me up and I feel like I really suffer with bags at the moment and puffy eyes and it really gets me down. I really want to get them sorted surgically but girl, it's too much. It's too much. Anyway, but I've been loving this and um, it's a super cute product. It's like £22 and it's, I don't think it's, mmm, it's kind of expensive for eye cream, but I feel like it does the job, so I'm loving that. Um, let me get my other skincare products one sec. So, the, hey, sorry about that. I had to get all my products together because it's just been mad. So, the other product that I've been loving is the Murad Essential C. Um, let me get it open like that. Essential C um, Night Moisture. This product is amazing. I'm almost finished, as you can see. Like, there's literally nothing in there. Like, it's almost finished. Um, I love this product just before I'm going to bed, just to give me a really nice boost of moisture in the night because obviously we lose a lot of moisture and I feel like girl this is like it does what it says it's amazing um what's it got in it it's got it's it's got a vitamin c in it and um I'm not sure what else it's got in it but I don't know it works for me it's not girl the next product I'm loving which is skincare is a triple oxygen my bad lens isn't focusing the triple oxygen um bliss ultimate UV moisturizer. I, I bought this when I went to Miami. It's got SPF 33 in it. I lived for it. Lived. Um, I was a bit scared it was going to give me a white cast, but it never. It's really, really good if you really, really want a moisturizer that's going to give you sort of a high SPF that's obviously going to protect your skin from harmful rays. I loved it. You get a lot in the bottle, and I just feel like it's got a pump. It's how many mils is it? 
It's 50 mil, so you can take it in your traveling case. What else do you need? What else do you need? <gasps> oh my god. So I've been basically loving the Murad Retinol Youth Renewal Serum. I recently got a facial by Murad in House of Fraser, London. I'm gonna upload this video. Oh, I'm gonna upload it. I'm gonna upload it this week so you guys will see it. Guys. Murad is the plug, literally. I didn't know what retinol was. Obviously I did, but I never really did any research. And retinol is basically, is it vitamin A? Or I think it's vitamin A, and it helps with any kind of texture on the skin. And I recently got sunburned on my face. And I've been using this for a good few months anyway, but I've, I've been using this in the concentrated area of my forehead. That's why I'm covering it today, because I always wear a hat anyway. And I feel like it's just made the sunburn texture, texture so much smoother. So this gets a 10 out of 10 for me. You get so much in a bottle. I think it is expensive. I'll link it down below. I'm not sure how much it is because Murad do send it to me, but Murad, I was buying Murad. I've seen a video about Murad before, so I don't even need to explain. But anyway, this is so, so good. Oh my God. I would only say use a little bit. I wonder if you're going to use it in a day, wear SPF because something about, I've heard something about that ingredient. It's, it's, um, it's high exposure basically. It's, um, you need to wear SPF if you're gonna wear this in a day, but it's full and light, so I wouldn't wear it in the daytime. But that is so good. Um, another skincare product to learn from Murad is the Essential C Cleanser. This is a sample which I got from Murad. I did have the big one, but I finished it. I've been loving this. Um, it's a really nice gel moisturizer. It's got vitamin C in it, so it's gonna help brighten if you've got an even skin. It's amazing. I'm gonna get a full one because this one's gonna finish me in about a week. This is the plug also, girl. Oh, cool. So what else I've been using? Um, I forgot any more skincare products. So that's it for skincare. I'm gonna start with makeup. I'm gonna try not to keep this video too long because I know y'all have got places to go, people to see, things to do. So let's start with NYX. So I've been loving the new NYX palettes. I've been using, if you follow me on Instagram, I did do this in a mini Instagram tutorial. This is the Lid Lingerie um, Eye Makeup Palette. Let me show you it. Okay, open. The colors are like that, so pretty. I've been using these, these religiously. I've got some in my crease now, but very, very natural. This is the perfect palette on the go. I went to Miami with this and I was just using these colors just religiously. I love them so much. You can't really go wrong, a nice, warm palette. And I've been loving the Cosmic Metals by NYX also. When I went to their launch party, they gave us this in the goodie bag. I love this color and this one. I haven't really used it. Actually, I did use it as a highlight, actually. It's really, really pretty. Um, I've just been living for these NYX palettes. Like, NYX, you are doing it! What else have we been using? Okay, so I went to Boots the other day because I went to NYX because I needed like an eyeliner, um, a black one. I, I don't even know what that is, and that island is really good as well. <laughs> and um, someone was telling me about the NYX HD Concealer. I bought two. These were six pounds, babe. Oh my God, this concealer is so good. I've got it under my eye now. Sorry, I thought I had something. I've got it under my eye now. This is in the color, is this Nutmeg? What color is this? No, this is in tan. I've also got Nutmeg somewhere i can't find it but i bought nutmeg in this color nutmeg is a bit darker it reminds me of like a nc 45 47 this is kind of like an nc 40. i've got this under my eye now it does a crease it's a dupe for the nars really creamy concealer i actually love love this concealer it's so good so so good like and it's so cheap as well um, another product I've been loving is the Tarte Shape and Tape. I bought two of these when I was in Miami. I got it delivered to my room. This is the colour Tan Sand. To be honest, this colour is still a bit too light for me because I bought medium because I wanted a highlight colour. But Tan Sand is quite light and it is very matte under the eye. So I only reach for this upon going out and I'd have a lot of time to blend this out because it does... It creases on me because my eyes are a bit of a madness, but it is a really, really good concealer. It's full coverage, it's super matte, it's super brightening. So I love this concealer as well. What else have been loving? As correctors, when I went to Miami, I bought the NYX, and the NYX, the Urban Decay um, Corrector in Deep Peach. I do work for Urban Decay, but they haven't got a Deep Peach in yet, and I really wanted to try it just to show you guys what was... <clears throat> sorry what was really popping and um 
I love, love this um, corrector. Um, there's not really much to explain about correctors. Correctors do the same thing. But I was using the um, Makeup Forever um, Invisible Corrector and I wasn't really feeling it. So I was like, let me just try this one. I have been loving it. It's just easy, easy, easy. Um, what else is next? Um, I'm going to go back to NYX. So NYX sent me a massive PR package of their Total Control Foundations. They sent me every single colour. Oh my god. It's a bit like the Cover FX Custom Drops but in a foundation. One drop for sheer, three drops for medium and four drops for full. I could be wrong but that's what it says on the package. This foundation is so lovely. I've got this foundation on today. I've mixed it with a foundation I'm going to show you in a minute. But I've been loving, loving this. This colour is perfect to me. It's TC, it's number 21 basically in Kako. Is it Kako? Is that how you say it? Kako or Keiko? I don't know, girl, but this foundation is amazing. Um, I just love the way how you can build the coverage and it's not too greasy and it's just, oh, live for it. Um, I've also been, one foundation that I bought, um, was it last week or the week before? Is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I've, used, I've got a sample of this before, but it was too red and I wasn't really loving it. But um, I've actually been loving this foundation. I've been mixing it with other things just because by itself, I feel like it's a bit too matte. But it is good by, by itself as well, but I'll probably mix and moisturize it in with it. This is in the color Deep Spice 7W1. I've been loving this. It's a bit full at the moment because I've got a sample to try before I bought it. And I've been using a sample before I break into this one. But this is a beautiful foundation. It feels really sheer when you pull it on and you're like, is this full coverage? Like, I'm confused because the girl said it was full coverage on the counter. I don't have to slap no one down. But when you blend it out multiple times, you're like, oh. Mm. But the only thing about this, you use a little bit because when you take pictures, you will see the full coverage. Okay. Um, what else is there? Okay, so I've been loving this concealer by Beauty Pie. If you don't know that Beauty Pie, I spoke about them in a video before. They're basically like Netflix for beauty. You spend, you buy a monthly subscription and you can buy makeup at the market price. So this concealer will probably be about seven to 10 pounds. I'm not too sure on the price, but this is in the color deep 500 it mm. so I, mean, I thought some concealer went on my carpet i was like oh my god but it comes out like that it's got a little dome applicator which looks like that actually love it so such a nice concealer it's, it's full, i would say this is like medium to full coverage it's super luminous it's called the and um, beauty pie super luminous concealer it's got a bit of a sheen but it's beautiful to put on any areas that you feel like you may need to cover up so I've been loving that concealer. Um, primers, I've been loving the Tarte Poreless Clean Slate um, Primer. I think I mentioned this in another favorites video before. Love this primer, it's so, so nice. I feel like this is one of the only primers with Makeup Forever Step 1 that I really, really like. Um, a little bit goes a long way. It's kind of silicone based, but I love this um, primer. It does what it says and you know, girl. Primer's a primer really, but I love the Tarte one. Um, I'm literally just picking up random things. I should have literally, literally done in order, but you guys know the drill, you know? But um, I've been loving, oh my God. So I've watched Jackie Aina's video. Is it Aina? Jackie Aina's video. And she always spoke about the Lancome 10 Idol foundation stick. So when I was in Miami, I actually bought one. This is in the color 550 Suede C. I love about this. What I love about this, it's really cool without being too yellow and it's full coverage and it's matte. I've used some foundation sticks recently and they've been really awful, they've been really oily, they've been really greasy and it's just like, ugh. This is why I always stay clear away from foundation sticks. Except for the Anastasia one, that one is amazing. Love, love the Anastasia one in Truffle. That is my foundation stick there. But yeah, this one I've been loving. I actually mix this with the NYX foundation today just to give me a really clean, flawless finish, okay? So I've been loving that. Um, what else is there? The Huda Beauty Liquid Lipstick. This is the lip I've got on today. To be fair, I've, I like Huda Beauty and I like what she does, but when I look on her page, I find that she doesn't really repost any boys to her page unless it's Halloween or they're doing a madness. And I feel like it's made me not really want to buy any more of her products. Like I've got her liquid lipsticks in the Rose Gold palette, which I love. 
but at the same time just a bit like post people who are buying your products you know what i mean i feel like she's a bit too calculated for me and there's that whole drama about her not posting women of color so i probably won't purchase anything from her again but i actually love spice girl and trendsetter that's the color i've got on my lips and to be fair i can't lie her liquid lipsticks are one of my favorite formulas for comfort and i feel like these colors are the only ones i'll probably but get anyway so and another thing that i got is a this is the Laura Mercier Translucent in Medium Deep. I had to get this because all my favourite YouTubers like Makeup Shayla, um, who else? Um, Beauty by JJ got it. Um, loads of all the other like, you know, black YouTubers have got this powder and Jackie obviously. And I felt like I really needed to get it because I used the translucent one. And to be honest, I don't really get the hype of the translucent one, but I love this one. I love it. I've used it to set my face today. And I've also used it um, before my foundation which Jackie Aina taught me. You put it on before your foundation and you put your foundation over it to stop any major oil coming through throughout the day. And I've been really, really loving this shade. You get so much in there and I got it for a bit cheaper because I got it in Miami. So girl, I've been loving this pattern. It's really finely milled. I can't explain it, but I feel like it just blurs out everything and makes everything super flaky. Um, another product that I bought in Miami was the Benefit Roller Lash. This is, Hold on, I actually like both of their mascaras. What's the other one called? Is it called They're So Real Mascara? I don't know what it's called, but I like this one as well. I love the brush. Let me show you it. The brush looks like that. Um, I feel like it's amazing if you've got really small lashes like myself and curly. It's really just going to give your lashes a lot of um, length. I feel like it's going to give your lashes a lot of length and volume and I feel like I just love the way this makes my lashes look so I'm actually feeling this. So guys, what this one? And uh, guys, this product I've been using it religiously and I feel like, oh my god, I feel like it's replacing my, can my cover effects in candlelight. This is the iconic London Drops in Glow. Is it in Glow? getting yeah, glow it's one of the new colors let me just swatch this for you i always put this on before any highlighter and i feel like it's just it's just blinding that's it there that's what it looks like let me show you so that's it there and it's so beautiful and it's so crisp i just love the way it looks and it's so dewy oh i love this highlight the only thing is what I like about the Cobra FX one, you can actually mix that in with your foundation. You can mix this, this in with your foundation, but I feel like this is a bit, it's, this is a bit on the oilier side. It, it runs when you pull it on, so you've got to be really careful. But um, I'll, just, I'll just put this on the cheeks and a little bit goes a long way with this. So I feel like this is the perfect base before your highlight. And last but not least, another product I've just been using religiously, which I've got on now, is the Bobbi Brown Bronze Glow Highlighter which looks like that i've been loving it i'm almost at pan um you can't really go wrong with this highlighter i love the way it's just baked and it makes your skin just look so luminous it's really smoothing and it doesn't you know sometimes when you put highlighters on and it, i feel like they just sit on top of this top of your skin and in a certain sunlight you're like oh my skin looks a bit cakey i feel like nah nah i'm not really feeling it i'm not i'm not i'm not so i'm just a bit like oh but this highlight is amazing i'm not sure if they still sell it but i'll put all the deets down below and the last items i've got two more items two more items so I've been loving the skin, let me show you, the skin eye pads. These are called the, um, the Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels. When I was in Miami, I was living for these, living. You put them in the fridge and you put them on your eye. What I like about them is like you peel it off. I, I won't open one to show you because when you open it, you have to use it obviously. You peel off the pad, you put them under the eye, put them under your eye and they literally stick under your eye. So there's none of this stuff. Well, you know, sometimes you put them on and they fall off. It doesn't even do that, but these are amazing. Oh, so, so good. I might do a video on them, like a um, nighttime routine or like a morning routine. Let me know if you guys want to see that. And last but least, no, it's the last, but no, it's the last item, just shut up. These are the Ardell Wispies. I've been loving these lashes just because they're really easy to put on and I always struggle to put lashes on because my lashes are curly. You don't need liner with these and they're really sparse and really lightweight. I've been loving the Ardell lashes. Um, I've, got, I've got a tutorial coming up this week so you'll see me with some on. I just love them because they're super, super 
flaky. And that's all my favorites. Oh, I had so many favorites, so much. Let me guys know if you want me to try anything or you recommend anything that I should go out and buy because you guys know I'm such a makeup hoarder. But anyway, thank you guys for watching my favorites video and I hope to see you soon.